All right, it's July 4th today. And Marie, what are you making for July 4th here? A July 4th stable. This is. Are you making this a stable? Staple. A it's July oh, okay. 4th staple. All right. That means it's something commonplace that is almost universal. Uh, and this would be in, you know, in Texas or all over the Texas, world? Texas, Michigan. Tennessee. Okay, so so what do we got going on? Okay, here? so I have boiled some uh, red potatoes and chopped them up. Also, uh, I mixed together um, olive oil, garlic, onion powder, a little salt and pepper, um, and then poured that over my potatoes and let it marinate. And uh, it's been in this refrigerator for a few hours now. So I am now adding the uh, green onions and scallions. And uh, I also put in um, some sour cream and mayo. And I haven't got to that yet. And, um, uh, instead of fresh dill, I put in some of the... Uh, On fresh dill. dill. Give us unfresh dill. It's it's fresh, but it's a paste so okay. that it lasts you longer. Okay. Fresh herbs. Dill paste. paste. Yeah. So it's gonna have a little dill taste. A little dill taste. I don't like dill. Well, I don't eat dill pickles. Then we're in big trouble. We're in big trouble now. And also take some of that dill out. Make it a little dillless. 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 Um, and something I'm doing, oh, also I put in some chopped celery. Yeah. And uh, the recipe calls for four boiled eggs. And you only have two. The other two are up there already. I'm right. saving those for last so they won't be all chopped up. Okay, and, and what is this that goes in? This is for the cook. Oh, you know, you're, like the, you're like Julia Childs. And the uh, <clears throat> occasion old man that had the real big pot belly that wore his uh, blue jean overalls, he used to say, and a little bit of wine, and a little bit of wine for the cook, and he'd be drinking wine all the time. So what kind of wine do you have? Well, this is a Holland chocolate flavored wine, and it's delicious. All right, well, we'll stop back later. Mm. What? Uno momento. I'm adding to this recipe some of these uh, sweet peppers for color. Okay. And they taste really good, but, you know, it's kind of a drab look at them. We want something, you know, pretty. Okay. So that's it now. You may go. All right. Thank you. So uh, you're, we're at a German restaurant. What's the name of this restaurant? I don't even know what the name of the German restaurant is. Oh, here it is. Okay. Oh, we're at the Gunk. Gunk House restaurant. Which is only five minutes from my house down the road. Right. Very convenient. Yes. And in fact, it is the, uh, the closest restaurant. How many of you have to wear sunglasses because of this? I'm just curious because of what Marie said. All right, I so just what are you eating? What are you eating? Here? What are you eating? Here? Pretzel and very bold sauce. Yes, do you like it? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
And this is a blood orange margarita, which is really good. Good. I'll have to drive home. Uh,